What's up everybody? B-Boy Spaz here and today we're gonna look at um, making remix videos. So pretty much I got a question probably a week or two ago where this dude was asking me about making remix videos. Now I'm not totally sure what he meant um, so I'm gonna do what I think he meant <laughs> and then if there's any other questions or anything else you want to see you guys can just ask from there. Um, but pretty much what I took it as is a remix video is when you take a music video, you know, like the legit music video, and then you add your own music to it. So now it's your remix, but it's normal video. It's kind of cool because you still have that presentation going on with the video that they made, but on top of that, it's your music. People tend to receive that a little bit better because there's something to watch, so on, so forth. So basically, in our lovely Ableton, as we know, which I've said plenty of times, Ableton can use video, and it uses it as audio. So when I'm doing a remix video, what you do first is get your video. Um, getting your video is a long story. You guys will have to figure that out yourself. But once you have your video, I like to go into the range view, open up my audio file so i got a little space so I can see it. I'm gonna drag in this video here. You just drag it in like it was an audio file. So you see the audio for it shows up, but if I click on it, here's my little video window. Um, just as a quick shout out too, the video I'm using is um, Victor Duplay, um, Electric Love, it's his new single, Hot. Um, pick up the remixes too, because Nicolay is on that as well. Nasty. So, um, Basically, so there's the first step. You have your video and there it is. And as usual, we need to find out the tempo of this. So when we play it, you have your music, because you know, it's the music video. And the easiest way to get closest to your tempo is to tap it in. So let's go here where the beat actually drops. Oh. I forgot about that. Let's do it this way. <laughs> Let's play the song separately from Ableton so we can tap it in that way. Alright, so I'm going to round this up and say 94. And then the long process of warping. Basically, double click your audio file. And I can tell this is, this is not warped because there's no lines here. So hit warp. And then now you have to figure out where all the beats are. This normally takes a while. But we obviously know this is beat one. So I double clicked my warp marker there. I'm going to get rid of this first one, right click it, and set one one here. So now we know that's one. So this intro is nine measures. So there's beat one of nine. And as you see, we're synced up. So basically, this takes a minute, but you just go through and warp the whole song. Now Ableton's eight is pretty good about just warping. So what you can try and do is right click and then warp from here. See how that turned out. I don't think it actually worked it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, the new warping in Ableton 8 is pretty straightforward. Like, it just gets it, and it gets it right. Let's see if it's off. Nice, cool. So now that we have the video warped, the second part is getting an acapella. That, yet again, is also not that easy, so you all will have to do that on your own. Um, but I luckily have the acapella here, which they actually sold. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So I'm going to drag that in as well. And then basically the steps are the same. I think this is warped already. Yeah, I don't like that, so unwarp it. Okay. So... I'm going to mute the video and deal with the acapella. Go, let's go. Welcome to the future. Go, let's go. Welcome. And as we know from the beginning here, let's go, let's go, let's go. So this go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Is beat one. So I'm gonna set this as one one. Go. Welcome to the future. 